the Biden budget won't be passed into legislation. Here's why it's still significant. What's going on? The $6.8 trillion budget plan that was unveiled by President Biden includes trillions of dollars in new taxes on the affluent and businesses to pay for enlarged social programs and to lower the national debt. Every year, all presidents are required by law to present a budget, but since only Congress has the authority to pass tax and spending laws, the plans are rarely implemented. This is particularly true for Biden's 2024 budget, which is all but dead on arrival given that the House of Representatives is now controlled by the Republicans. However, budgets can act as a strong declaration of intent that outlines a president's priorities in light of impending legislative conflicts and elections. The main themes that have characterized Biden's administration are reiterated in his plan particularly his claim that Americans require more direct government assistance and that the wealthy should contribute to its cost. His plan calls for more spending in order to reinstate the expanded child tax credit, safeguard Medicare's financial stability, increase access to health care, end hunger, and create universal preschool. A new minimum tax on billionaires, higher corporate taxes, and the repeal of tax cuts put in place by the Trump government would be used to pay for those programs. According to the White House, the additional income would also cut the deficit by $3 trillion over the following 10 years. The debt limit must be raised by Congress within the next few months to prevent the United States from defaulting on its debts and a probable economic collapse. The announcement of the budget takes place as this fight looms in Congress. House Republicans, who must approve any agreement to raise the debt limit, have hinted that they are eager to use their negotiating power to secure significant cuts in federal spending, though they haven't yet revealed their specific proposals for what they would cut or by how much. Why there is controversy Political analysts claim that by embracing the notion that the wealthy should foot the bill to increase government assistance for less fortunate Americans, Biden's budget demonstrates his desire to set himself apart from Republicans on economic issues. Some analysts claim that this strategy gives Democrats a significant advantage in the upcoming debt ceiling debate and the crucial elections held the following year because it exposes the GOP's desire to cut social programs and tax the wealthy positions that are generally unpopular with swing voters. Others argue that including a proposal to reduce the federal debt is a wise tactical choice because it offers a strong rebuttal to Republicans' tried and true efforts to paint Democrats as the party of unchecked spending. Biden's proposal has been roundly condemned by conservatives as a unserious wish list of progressive objectives that demonstrates the president is under the thumb of the extreme left of his party. Some claim that the president is overestimating voters' willingness to put up with tax increases, even if they are ostensibly aimed at the wealthy. According to these critics, tax increases would eventually hurt average Americans. Next Steps Before the two parties can start debating a strategy to increase the debt limit, Biden has said that the House and Senate must first release their respective budgets. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy hasn't given a timetable for when his caucus might release its own budget. If no agreement is made, the Congressional Budget Office predicts that the United States will declare bankruptcy sometime between July and September. Perspectives The president may be underestimating voters' willingness to put up with tax increases. Biden is counting on the electorate to not recognize this full shell game and I believe that people may be smarter than that. The fact that the top 1% of earners pay more than a third of all federal income taxes indicates that we are in an unsustainable tax structure. Wall Street Journal's Kate Bockelder Odell Biden is still blatantly beholden to the left-wing extremists in his party. Biden's budget is a well-known compilation of left-wing tax and spending proposals, many of which were unworkable even when Democrats had total control of Congress. The Biden proposal also contains environmental justice, housing, and other left-wing wishlist items. The National Review's editorial. Biden's budget's progressive policies place moderate Democrats in a difficult position. The fact that Biden's proposal calls for $2 trillion in tax increases, which will be difficult to defend in Senate battleground states like West Virginia and Montana, 
also highlights the divisions between liberal and moderate Democrats. Prior to the 2024 election, when they will need to protect 23 seats to maintain their majority, Senate Democrats are uneasy about Biden's audacious attempt to bring tax increases into the political spotlight. The Hill, Alexander Bolton Conservatives will lose influence if they don't create their own budget. Biden will continually reference his budget in the coming months and use it as the foundation for his political and policy positions. Meanwhile, he will criticize Republicans every day for not contributing their own to the conversation while referencing previous plans that call for cuts to the Affordable Care Act, Social Security, and Medicare. CNN's Phil Mattingly The budget establishes the Democrats' fundamental stance in the debate over the debt limit. What the White House wants to present with this budget is not so much something that will become law, but rather a clash of visions with House Republicans, who will likely propose deep spending cuts across a majority of the federal government's non-social security security Medicare and defense portion as part of its proposal for the debt ceiling and a government spending bill later this year, according to the article. Grids Matthew Zeitlin the budget demonstrates that Biden will make charging the wealthy a central tenet of his campaign for re-election. The budget also serves as a political talking point for Biden, who wants to draw a clearer distinction between himself and Republicans in terms of economic responsibility. A clear preview of a populist re-election pitch, the president wants the nation's wealthiest to foot the majority of the cost. Los Angeles Times Courtney Subramanian Budget battles are nothing more than political theatrics. The dirty little truth is right here. Both of these theatrical performances, the Republicans' refusal to raise the debt limit and Biden's significant tax increase on the ultra-wealthy, will never take place. Both of them are dreams. Both of them will come to an incredible cliffhanger ending after dramatic rounds of last-minute negotiations, apparently life-defying moves, and counter-moves. Exciting? No doubt. Not important at all. Guardian, Robert Reich. The president is veering to the right on important topics in an effort to combat GOP attacks. Biden is endorsing the Republican Party's traditional talking points on national security and economic responsibility. But he is rejecting any demands to scale back the welfare state while acting in this manner. The budget, however, sets the foundation for its expansion. Vox's Rachel M. Cohen The key to Biden's re-election campaign, in his opinion, is the economy rather than societal conflicts. Biden is working to downplay or diffuse almost all cultural problems, with the exception of abortion rights. Instead, Biden is focusing almost all of his public outreach on helping working-class families gain real economic advantages, Biden wants voters to question, who is on your side? As opposed to the leading Republican presidential candidates, who are essentially asking, who shares your values? Or, in the harshest forms, who shares your resentments? The Atlantic's Ronald Brownstein Unexpectedly, concerns about the debt are resurfacing in American politics. Let's say being concerned about the debt is trendy once more. Republicans enacted a sizable tax cut back in 2017 that significantly increased the debt in 2020 and 2021. Money was thrown at the epidemic by both parties, and then only by Democrats. Right now, the House is under Republican rule, while the President is a Democrat. Spending reductions are demanded by House conservatives. Additionally, President Biden has praised the deficit reduction of his own government for more than a year. NPR's Tamara Keith